Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to From Within Podcast with eBay. How is everybody doing today? I want everybody to make sure they have their journals and make sure you are probably just writing in your notes because today is going to be a time. So let's get into it. Today, today we are going to talk about forced to care from forced to care to powerhouse. I don't know if you guys knew, but I was in foster care before. I was in foster care all my life, right? But the experience that I had in foster care allowed me to be who I am today. It impacted me, of course, in a negative way back then because I really didn't understand. But now, as I'm older, it impacted me in a positive way because if I had not gone through that challenge, I would not be who I am and where I am today. So when I was younger, right, my mom wasn't in a place of stability. So me and my brothers and my sisters, right, went to foster care. And I asked myself recently, like, okay, and I'm like, what is like some challenges that you've been through in foster care? And if you have been in foster care, there have many there are many challenges that kids go through, right? Not having that love and that care. So first I'm asking myself, like, internally, because you know I always go within, internally, what was that? Like how how did that feel? What was that feeling that you had that was more so a challenge for you? And for me, it was just the internal. Not having that love from my mom, feeling abandoned, feeling neglected, like you didn't really mean anything. Always having to go from one house to the to the next house. Your bags was all that you had. That's it, right? So for me, it was the internal challenges. It was going from house to house, right? So force the care has strengthened me. It made me look at things a lot different especially from my mom's end. So in the beginning, when I was younger, before I started the healing process, y'all, I used to blame my mother. It's her fault. Like, why she didn't come and get us? Like, why did she just leave us there? Like, why did she want us with a different family? But when I started the healing process, I understood. My mother wasn't in no position to to take care of kids. She wasn't in a position. And I know what y'all probably want to say. Like, well, dang, you know, if, if she wasn't in a position, why does she have the kids? Child, if I could tell you, I'll tell you. But I don't know. For me, I just wanted to, to heal that pain of neglect and abandonment because that's what I felt for a very long time. Like, oh, well, my mother doesn't want me. My mother it has neglected me since I was little. And I, and I was angry at her. Angry, angry. And that's where everything everything rooted from was from my mom and her not being there, right? So for me, I had to step out of my new balances, period, and go into my mom's shoes just to kind of see what was her struggles like. So from understanding that and then looking at my grandmother, my mother wasn't able to take care of us, right? Like she was only doing the best she could back then. And you know, crack was a, that epidemic was, was a lot. For a lot of our mothers, especially the mother, the, the the kids right now that's in the 80s, that drug epidemic was a lot. Okay? Was a lot for us. And we're healing from we're healing from that now. Right? So for me, I had to understand she couldn't give me nothing. She couldn't give me nothing that she was never taught. My grandmother didn't teach her how to take care of us. Because she didn't, because my mother wasn't forced to care. So when I felt, when I found out what the pattern was, what the generational curses was, I began to not feel as angry, but more so understanding. Dang, she couldn't take care of us. She didn't have it. Her mother, her mother, she wasn't forced to care. Her mother probably wasn't forced to care. And it was a chain that needed to be broken. But sometimes when, we are like pointing a blame, pointing a blame sometimes. We need to look at what they went through. She couldn't give me something she never was taught. I wanted to talk about the foster care and how it affected me. Now, everybody has their own story and that's cool. But how it affected me, it was a lot for me. It was a lot for me. I was very hurt. 
I was angry at my mother. I didn't really connect with my other siblings because we didn't grow up with each other. I'm blaming everybody, you know, but it made me stronger. It made me stronger. It allowed me to take my story of experiences. See, God does things for a reason, baby, let me tell you. It allowed me to take my experience of being in foster care to speak to an, another young lady or another young man and let them know that there is a light at the end of the tunnel. This is not the end all be all. And I know right now, and now, and that, let me say something. Now I'm speaking to that young man or that young lady that's in foster care right now oh y'all i'm hot oh i'm hot now i'm hot i want to talk to y'all i want to talk to y'all today and i want to tell y'all it is going to be okay it's gonna be okay it is not the end all be all and i know right now in this moment that you feel you may feel like this is it and i don't want to even do this anymore but i'm telling you it is going to be okay do not let this system define your story. Do not let your challenges define your story. You can make your own story. It's not where you started. It's where you end. And I started at foster care, but I'm not ending in there. And I'm only saying that because if you, if you know where I've been and you know what I've been through, it is so hard to, to try to come out of that. It is so hard. So I really want to be a testament to anybody. For me, as you, if you ain't listened to my last podcast, school was a Willy Wonka ticket for me. And I knew if I did not have school, I would not be able to make it through. I wouldn't. Because I needed something to hold on to. I needed a foundation. And I did not want to be like my mother and my father. So I knew I had to change the narrative of my story. You can make it out. You can change the narrative. Just because you begin that way, that doesn't mean that you end that way. Change the narrative of your life. If you need to heal whatever you need to heal, and this is for the adults that's 30 that been through that epidemic of drugs and crack and like it was a time back then, okay? Just know that you can get out of there. Try to take yourself out of the mix and put it put your put your mother's shoes on put your father's shoes on put your grandmother's shoes on and get to the point of understanding and not pointing the finger and blaming them because you gotta remember as we grow up we don't got the manual to life we don't got the book to this thing so we are continuing learning and i know they didn't have it neither so as they're birthing you and they're looking at their grandkids or what have you they can't give you something that they were never taught you can do it and you can be who whoever you want to be i had to change the narrative for me i seen that my mother everything my aunt tells me all the time i know your mother wanted to be this amazing singer. She always wanted to be in the light. Your mother knew how to dress. And some of those things, like, spilled on me. Baby, I don't know how to sing, but, you know, I am a motivational speaker, so I still use my voice. Whatever you want to do, you could do. I got a business, right? Like, a whole career. I'm a teacher. And I just want you, the only reason why I'm saying all of these accolades is because you can do it. So right now, I want to give you some strategies, y'all on what to do if you were in foster care or you're trying to get out of foster care now foster care is something else now okay it's, it's something else that system is not for it's not for the weak right but it's it's not the end all be all it's not the impossible it's the possible it's possible for you to get out of there it's possible for you to continue to live your life it's possible for you to heal from the trauma that your foster parent has caused you it's possible okay i am a living testimony of it it is possible. So here are some strategies that I definitely wanted to share with y'all, which is build a connection. I know for me, my friends held me down. You hear me? When I was in high school, they still held me down to this day. Build that connection. Plan. Another strategy is plan to get out of there. Plan to get out of there. Plan for your independence. Right? Like, I didn't really plan for my independence, but I knew, baby, I had to get out of here. I really want y'all to the ones that's out right now that is not in foster care but has been in foster care, heal that. Heal yourself. Heal from that trauma. Heal from it. Okay? 
How do I do that? You got to talk about it. You got to talk about it. If it's therapy that you need, go to therapy. If it's counseling that you need, go to counseling. If it's prayer that you need, get on your knees and pray. But you hold it in, in here in your core, it's not allowing you to be free. It's stuck. It's stuck there. Trust me, I'm only speaking from experience. It's stuck in the gut. It's stuck in the root. And in order for you to heal that trauma that's in the root, you got to let it go. You got to talk about it to somebody. And I know it's hard. Like, oh, if I talk to somebody, what does that, what does that mean? What is that going to cause? It's going to help you heal and you're not going to even realize that you're healing it. Once you say it out loud and you're self-aware of what you say out loud, you are going to start to heal the internal. All right? Um, what else are some strategies? Um, be around like-minded people, period. People that are doing things, people that are going to help you along your way, people that are going to pour into your cup, be around like-minded people people from foster care to future powerhouse i'm a powerhouse i'm using my voice to be able to tell my story so i can be able to motivate anybody that's been in the system that's currently in the system and that can't see the light at the end of the tunnel i love y'all so much i hope some of these strategies help thank y'all so much for tuning in with me today and this is from within podcast.